In this session, we are going to begin looking at cost behavior. Now, when we're considering our costs in terms of their behavior, what we are thinking about is, does this particular cost change when our level of activity changes? By level of activity, I mean the number of units produced or sold. From now on, I'm going to refer to level of activity as L of A. If we think about this, the concept is quite straightforward. There are some costs we would expect to say, stay the same regardless of how many units of our product we produce. But we're going to see other costs we would expect to increase or decrease depending on our level of activity. So if we get into our first cost behavior then, we'll begin by looking at fixed costs. A fixed cost is a cost that remains constant in total terms as level of activity changes. So in other words, we don't expect our fixed cost to change even when we increase or decrease our production activity. An example of a fixed cost would be rent in our factory. So if we're renting our factory, then if we produce one unit in a month, our rent is going to be the same as if we produce 10,000 units that month. Our landlord doesn't care how many units we've produced. They expect to get paid the rental amount no matter what our level of activity is. So we'll just note some of this down then, our fixed costs remain constant in total terms as level of activity changes. So for example, we've mentioned rent and also fixed salaries. So if our factory supervisor is on a fixed annual salary, then regardless of how many units we produce, we are going to have to pay them their salary. If we were to show our fixed costs on a graph, and for each cost behavior we look at, we will be looking at how that cost behavior appears on a graph. So we've got our total cost on the y-axis and our level of activity on the x-axis. When we look at these graphs, the first question we need to ask ourselves is, when our level of activity is zero, do we need to pay anything? So for our fixed costs, what do you think? When our level of activity is zero, we don't produce any units, are we still going to have to incur our rent? So do we still need to pay our rent? I would argue yes. I think our landlord would expect to be paid rent regardless of whether or not we've produced units. So when our level of activity is zero, we are still going to have to pay for our fixed costs. As our level of activity increases then, our fixed costs in total will stay at the same level because remember our rent charge or our fixed salaries aren't going to change just because we've increased our production activity. So that's our total fixed cost. The next thing we want to consider is our fixed cost per unit. Let's say, for example, a company's fixed costs 
or $2,000 for a particular period. What we want to look at then for a number of different levels of activity, what the total fixed cost will be, and what the fixed cost per unit will be. Let's start with a level of activity of one unit. If we produce one unit, what will our total fixed cost be? Well, remember our fixed costs remain constant in total terms, so they'll be $2,000. What will our fixed cost per unit be? Very straightforward calculation. To work out our fixed cost per unit, we can just take our total fixed costs and divide by the number of units we've produced. So our fixed cost per unit is 2,000. Let's increase our level of activity then. Let's say our level of activity goes up to 50 units. Now what will our total fixed costs be? Well, I hope you're thinking that fixed costs will still be $2,000 because they remain constant in total terms. But what will our fixed cost per unit be? We can calculate our fixed cost per unit again as our total fixed costs divided by the number of units we've produced. And this time our level of activity is 50. So now our fixed cost per unit is $40. Let's do one more. If we increase our level of activity again to 200 units, total fixed costs will remain unchanged and our fixed cost per unit will be 2,000 divided by 200. So we get 10. So can you see the pattern then? As our level of activity increases, our fixed cost per unit will decrease. Even though our fixed costs stay the same in total terms, if we increase our level of activity, then we are spreading that cost across more units. So our fixed cost per unit goes down. Finally then, if we were to show this on a graph, our fixed cost per unit, this time we have our cost per unit on the y-axis and our level of activity on the x-axis. And we would get a graph something like this. So this is our fixed cost per unit and as we've seen, as level of activity goes up, the fixed cost per unit will go down.